Hello, Facebook land. What's up? What's up? It's your girl, Jen Quick. What you be doing, babes? What you be doing? What have you guys been up to? Profile? Profile peeps? I'm not live here often, but I'm here for you today, and I'm excited. Um, I have had such a good freaking morning, which is great because the last couple of weeks have been freaking shit, okay? They've been, I don't want to say they've been shit because honestly, like when you're growing, when you're evolving, when things are changing, there's good and there's bad. And unless you're acknowledging both, you're really not being realistic with yourself. So there's been so much good, but there's also been a lot of um, heavy energy going around the collective and individually. So that's why I'm here today. That's why I'm here today, post yoga flow, post AE class, because I'm really feeling myself. Um, I had a session with my um, coach this morning and then also, oh my God, I was feeling so good. Um, so I think I'm going to start calling my coach my womb witch um, because I that's actually what she labels herself as and I dig it way, way more um, because if you guys don't know, this is a witchy space. Like I am definitely witchy all things witchy. Like I'm very pagan in my personal spiritual practice, if you are unaware of that. So um, we are here today to do a little card pull and I wanted to talk with you guys about getting grounded um, and just feeling into your own safety right now because this has been something that, um, like I'm an earth energy, like it's my bread and butter, like to create like a honey hole or like a safe space, like a sacred space where I feel safe to be myself, to be authentic, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I have two decks today that I'm going to draw from. Um, so I'm planning on doing like one card from each. Um, they are new decks. And so I'm like super excited to show you guys these decks. Um, so earth magic here, we have, I like, I'm a Virgo. If you guys don't know, I'm a Virgo sun. If you're not into astrology, I am. <laughs> um, so hey, 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 hello, Meredith. I'm digging this filter. Like this filter is fucking everything. Like I actually used to do my makeup like this for like a year straight. Like I made faux freckles in all of it. Um, Anyway, though, so we have the Earth Magic deck here that I'm going to pull a single card from. This is like a little collective card pull on just getting grounded and feeling into safety right now because there is some heavy energy right now. Very heavy, okay? Which is why the second deck is a little bit more heavy and it's a little bit more um, intense. And that is the Murder of Crows deck, okay? So this is a tarot deck. This is an oracle deck. The idea is we're gonna draw one card from each and just do a little collective card pull. So I'm sending you guys like massive freaking love right now. Massive, massive love. If you are local um, to this area and you are looking for just some inner guidance, like some self-love connection guidance, um, that's just, it's pure. It's love. It's unconditional love centered. Feel free to drop by Monsterk on Thursdays. I do card readings in person there. Um, if you're not feeling like virtual, I get it. I get it. Um, but I do card readings in person there, or you can of course always hook up with me and do a card reading. I have a coffee and card zoom. It's like a 30 minute session. We whip out some cards. I hold space for you just to connect. And I always, my mission, my goal is to always point you back towards yourself and to point you back towards like you and your own empowerment and your beauty and truly honor honor your beauty as a woman, as a being. Okay. And then of course I always pop the movement in there. Okay. Cause I live for the body and I live for the movement and I live for the yoga and the meditation and all the shit. Okay. I live, I live. So let's light some Palo Santo. Hello, Laura. Happy Tuesday, girl. Oh my gosh. It's tarot Tuesday as well. I just I just recognize this on Tuesdays. I also do my alchemized exercise class at one o'clock and I just finished that. And we did a yoga flow outside in the dirt, which is my favorite thing in the world, dirt yoga. Um, and we just finished that. And I'm just like, I'm in all the vibes right now. Unconditional love comes and blesses this space. Come and hold space with me spirit for this audience, for these beautiful, beautiful souls. 
and power them for themselves. We ask that unconditional love would come and speak through both of these decks. The space is cleansed and cleared in Christ consciousness and unconditional love. All right, so we got some Paulo. We're feeling good. I love Paulo Santo. The freaking smell is everything. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and draw from the Earth Magic deck, okay? Let's freaking do this. Let's do this. <clears throat> So look at that. I love the front of it. Like this is the front of the card, right? So pretty. All right. So we are seeking guidance on connecting with safety inside of ourselves, feeling safe inside of our bodies to be our authentic selves. And I just kind of shuffle until something, oops, something falls out. Beautiful. All right. So we have green man synergy. So I'm also, I'm going to read this off to you guys, but I'm also going to kind of give you like my own little interpretation since this is a new deck. Um, let's see, looking for a green man, green man. And of course you guys know Oracle decks are like every single one is different and unique and has unique meanings and all of that good stuff. Um, so green man is the earth's vegetation and personified, although he may, he has many variations. This card depicts a more subtle and embedded representation In other portrayals. Uh, he resembles the face of a man covered in green foliage as branches and vines sprout from every direction. There exists some form of green man throughout history in the myriad of cultures throughout the history and often symbol he is a symbol for rebirth of life in springtime he's also been associated with the lord of the wild wood as a representative of the plant kingdom green man reminds us of the incredible synergy required for gaia to maintain her delicate and dynamic balance among the various beings on the planet synergy is the interaction and the cooperation of two or more elements that produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate efforts. We witness this in the complex and cooperative interaction between plants, humans, and animals. For instance, fruit trees propagate by being eaten by an animal that then deposits its back into the earth after digestion. This new plant grows, bees pollinate the flowers, and the cycle begins again in nature's simple and yet remarkable synergy. You have the advantage of an incredible of an incredible synergy at this time. A flow of life is guiding you where things just seem to fall in place as you move about your business. You are in a mutually cooperative interaction with spirit as your will is aligned with the will of spirit and your mission is congruent with your sense of purpose. When this is happening, there is a synergy and a way that your life force is continually coming back into balance with the forces of nature. There's also a synergy between your spiritual awareness and your personal self or ego. Be aware of the various idiosyncrasies of your ego and do not take any of them too seriously. Know that your higher self is always looking out for your best interest. In this cycle, tune into that guidance, however it shows up, and you will find that you'll move through life with a greater ease due to the synergistic balance of forces expressing them as themselves as you. All right, you guys. So this card is freaking beautiful and I'm so thankful that it came up. So once again, if you're just popping on, this is the green man card that we chose, um, or spirit chose, the collective chose. Um, and it is focusing around synergy, okay? And synergy is about cooperation. It's about awareness and consciousness and then creating cooperation inside of that consciousness to create flow, okay? So, and also, Flow is not always like a creation, if you will. It's more of an allowing. It's more of I'm letting myself slide into the ease of X, Y, and Z. I'm letting myself do this rather than pressuring myself. And this is something that I feel a lot of people fall into, myself included, when we're talking about feeling safe right now in uncertain times. We have a tendency as a nation, as a culture, as a collective to push, push, push an outcome and try our best to make it happen on our timetable in our way that we see it happening like that, okay? And that pressure 
to make it happen, make a decision, hurry up and feel a certain way, hurry up and get to a certain place um, so that I can feel good and you can feel good and all these things, right? Okay, the pressure does not create synergy and it does not create flow and the pressure to try and jump the gun or the pressure to try and create like awareness or consciousness before you're truly like the unfolding of it occurs it really creates the additional added pressure. It creates pain, it creates suffering, and it, it takes you away from that natural ease and that natural flow that people talk about when you're in your own power, when you're in your own flow, okay? Every single person has a unique flow. They have a unique energetic stamp and a unique empowered stamp that when they show up in this space, they show up in this light, they're honoring themselves. It's really not about like them creating this person. It's really about them honoring who they naturally are and then showing up in that space. So that authentic you, that piece of you, it's so powerful and it is the essence. It's the essence of synergy. And the best way for us to connect with it is to number one, start connecting and cooperating, creating synergy with ourselves. So how do we create synergy between the higher self and that personified ego that the green man is talking about or that this card was talking about? So one way that I have found personally that helps me to create synergy between these two halves, because right now there's a lot of Gemini energy. If you guys didn't know, like planetary wise, there's a lot going on in Gemini and Gemini is very much a dual nature. Um, it's a duality that it can be like dual personalities, dueling ideas. Um, it can be any kind of duality in life. Okay. So you have like yin and yang, all those things. It's both sides. Okay. Both sides of the coin. And it can get heavy when the inner, the inner and the outer worlds are not meeting that synergy, i.e. you're feeling a certain way on your inner world and then in your outer world, you're portraying something different or you're receiving something different or you are something different to the people around you. You receive things differently, whatever the case may be, right? There's, there's conflict in that. So we don't feel synergized. The best way that we can begin to create synergy with our inner and outer worlds is by validating our inner world and validating our own unique experience first, okay? So whether that means that <clears throat> I'm going to validate my experience that, um, okay, let's say this is a great one for moms. Okay. If you're a mommy, you're going to totally understand this. And if you're not, you're still going to understand this. <laughs> so as a mom, you want everything to go perfect. You want every trip to go perfect. Like I'm a Virgo mother, so I'm in earth energy and I want shit perfect. Okay. And I want to have the full freaking experience. And if I go out with Scarlett, I want it to be the best. And if anything bad happens or if any little problem occurs, in my brain, it's magnified tenfold and it feels like the whole trip was ruined because this, this, and this occurred, okay? In reality, that's not the truth. In reality, Scarlett doesn't see or doesn't feel that um, those pings or those hits as intensely as I do because for me personally, it's been conditioned to magnify bad behavior, uh, I don't say bad behavior, but basically um, any imperfection, magnify it and amplify it so that you can hurry up and get it out of your life, okay? And that is like from birth, okay? So when we have those conditions, we tend to bring that into ourselves um, in the day-to-day -day life, right? So part of creating the synergy is by me recognizing that by me magnifying those imperfections, that's me connecting with the egoic side, okay? It's me connecting with the egoic side of myself and then giving fuel, validating, okay, that egoic side that says, you're not good enough. You 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 didn't do this right. That was a terrible date. Scarlett doesn't love you anymore. This isn't the right experience, blah, 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 blah. You should have done this. You should have done that. Tom's better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like our husbands, moms do this all the time. We do this as partners, as friends. Like we compare ourselves. They must be doing it better. They must be doing it right. 
It's not that they're doing it better. It's not that they're doing it right. It's that you are validating the side, the egoic side of yourself that says you're not good enough. You're validating that side. Begin validating a, a different perspective. Begin validating the perspective of you that really sees the whole picture. It's a big picture thinker. Validate the side of you that sees the entire date that you had with your child. Validate the side of you that understands that you took time out of your day to really connect with your child, that you took time out of your day to make a special day and no matter what happens, it's meant to be. Validate those pieces. Validate and honor the sacred side of you that's coming out, that's desiring to connect, that's desiring to do whatever. This particular example, it's connecting with your baby, okay, and creating that relationship. Maybe it's something different, okay? Maybe it's you being, um, like one for me could be me being plant-based. Um, one for me could be fitness. One for me could be any of these things, right? Like you can validate the egoic side of you that says you're not doing good enough. You can do this in food, you guys. Like um, the egoic side of you would say that you can never cheat and you can never have bad food and you can never have food that tastes really good because sugar is bad for you all the time and that restriction, 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 okay? So that egoic side of you that says you're not good enough for this food okay, that tries to make you or belittle you or keep you small, those things, that's the egoic side of you. And the more you validate and feed that story, the more it will um, expand and progress, okay? So creating that synergy is about validating who you are, the beautiful side of you, the true, like unique side of you, the the side of you that offers grace. I'll say that. That's really the the most connected way for me to share like the side of you that is going to come out. It's the side of you that also offers grace and compassion to you. It's not the one that's always going to pressure you and tell you that you did things wrong. It's the one that's going to feel like that nurturing mothering energy that just scoops you up and says, it's okay, baby, you're doing great. Everything's great. Like you would never look at your child whenever they've been trying all day or doing their best or whatever and say, you need to do more, okay? Like, or you didn't do it good enough or whatever. I mean, some people will, but that's shitty of them. They shouldn't do that. (laughs) But anyway, the point is, is that that nurturing energy, that compassionate energy, that energy that's full of grace and love, that's the energy that is your shining, like a bright light. It creates synergy, it is ease, and it is flow. Um, And those things often do ask us to create boundaries and say no. And that's where I'm gonna go ahead and draw from um, the Murder of Crows deck because I feel like boundaries is a really, really big topic right now. and I want to chat about it. I want to. I want to open the hello, Allison. Hello, hello. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything you want to share, feel free to pop it in the comments down below. Um, so let spirit, if you will, please, uh, divine love, come and give us a little bit of guidance on creating boundaries and where we can create better uh, or more intense boundaries. Um, become more grounded and feel safe. Okay, let's see here. So we have, I believe this is the ace. Yeah, ace of wands. All right, let's pull this out. Ace of wands. All right, you guys. So this is the card, Ace of Wands, we posed to spirit, how can we create or where can we create um, and embody deeper boundaries for ourselves so that we can continue to create that synergy, validate ourselves and feel that safety. Um, and we drew the Ace of Wands. This is a wild world pulsing with the purpose and light, with purpose in life. It will take great effort to live the adventure that you have been gifted. You set yourself to the task, knowing that each scratch and scar is a lesson that you've learned. Your own potential is a mirror of the wild world's greater potential. Both are complex and tangled and boundless. Keywords are vast resources of energy and exciting adventure is about to begin and incredible potential. So what I wanna share with you guys is this. Going back to validating yourself to create that synergy, 
Um, also, coming back in with validating your own potential. Validating those voices inside of you that say, I'm supposed to do X, Y, Z, and I'm not exactly sure why. I feel like I'm supposed to try X, Y, Z, and I'm not exactly sure why. You don't have to fucking know why, okay? And you don't owe anybody any answers. You don't owe anyone a fucking explanation for what you feel you need to intuitively do with yourself, with your body, with your own self-care. You do not owe anyone an explanation. So tapping into your greater potential and knowing that no matter what you do, you are supported, okay? No matter what you do, you are safe. You are supported. You are held. Nothing can take that away from you. You are a divine fucking being. You are human and divine. You are both in one body. You are literally God here to create. You have God inside of you, you guys. It's not anything outside of you. You are so supported and you are so held no matter what you do. You can create it. You can't have it. You can, okay? So now the question really is, what do you want to do? And really asking yourself and being honest with yourself, what do I want to do and what do I really not want to do? And then being willing to experiment because number one, it's not going to happen overnight. Okay. It's not going to happen overnight. I had to do this with food. I had to do this with fitness and I'm still doing this in my own life. You guys like being a plant-based woman, I've been like going on my own journey of my connection with food and how I feel about it. And also not wanting to judge people and wanting to give people love and connection and wanting to have a better place in the world. Like, like for the earth in general, like there's so many facets to what these things like how I feel about just the topic of food okay and a lot of people will not even allow themselves to go there and to feel supported in order to experience the journey okay to take the steps and see if they like it to actually experiment with it and then be honest with themselves and say I don't like this okay and a lot of people will view this as failure and I want I'm here to tell you that is not failure what you're actually doing is creating safety and a foundation for yourself um I struggled with the idea for a while that I was like not doing it right that in some capacity I must be failing because I've tried so many things and it feels like nothing's stuck, right? Okay, so that's like the the whole mindset I feel behind um, like the way that like online and fame and the culture, like Western culture has really like personified what people need to be or what they should be or whatever. It's like, it's gotta be this one hit wonder. It only has to be one thing. Um, you can't do it this way, this way, this way. It's, it's a one path like road, right? Like that's how it's portrayed that you can't be multi-passionate. You can't be, um, you can't be this, 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 and this. Okay. It, again, it's one way. It's a lie. Okay. It's a total lie. Like we can be multi-passionate and we can still be supported. We can try different things. We can experience different things. And then we can actually say, that's not for me. I don't really want to do that. And you are just as freaking powerful saying, I don't really want to do that anymore. Um, I think I want to try this instead. You are just as powerful whether you stay or whether you go. There is no like right or wrong answer in this. And I really want to share that with you guys. Like when you're tapping into your own potential, validate that power, validate that success and validate the truth within yourself that no matter what you do, you are safe and supported. I have a protection and support meditation that I offer on my website um, for you guys. It is literally, it's like seven bucks. Okay. It's so freaking cheap and affordable, but it is like, I think it's like a five minute meditation or a seven minute meditation or something like that. And it's something you can lay in bed in the morning and just listen to and put on these layers, these layers of safety, these layers of protection, protection, these layers of unconditional love of self, validating yourself, validating you, loving you. No one else is going to love you as powerfully as you can love yourself. No one, no one ever, 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 ever. Um, and just that right there alone will begin connecting you with your own potential. Okay. With how freaking powerful and how much inside of you that there is to give like inside of this, it was saying, you have a journey. You have a journey that you're going on and it's already started. Okay. It's already begun. Like there is no turning back. And every single one of us, 2020 has set you off on a journey. 
I don't care who you are. I don't care where you're at. <laughs> 2020 has set you off on a journey, okay? And the question is, are you resisting going on that journey or are you accepting the flow? Um, and really connecting with yourself on whether or not you are feeling safe, feeling supported as you are experiencing this journey, or are you feeling anxious, worried? I'm afraid. I don't know what to do. Like, of course it's natural to have fear. It's always natural to have fear, but are you allowing it to keep you, um, small? And are you allowing it to keep you from ex like saying yes to the things that you truly want? And if you are, why? Like, d let's dig into that. Let's figure out why, because honestly, um, it's time. Like if you're feeling the call, it's time. The journey's already begun. Validate yourself and begin allowing, allowing and trusting yourself that no matter what happens, you got this. No matter what happens, you got this. Every woman on here, you got this. Validate how beautiful you are. Validate how amazing you are, how beautiful bo your body is, how amazing your gifts are, how amazing your talents are uniquely, how beautifully you show up, the, the light and the amazingness that you uniquely bring. Validate the F out of that and do not let any single person, anyone, any group, any collective, any anything, stop on it or try to take you away from it because it's yours. It is your birthright to have this. All right. I love you guys so much. And I'm sending you massive love. If you dug this card pull and you're local, come see me at Monsirk. I read cards um, from six to 10 at 140 North Commerce Avenue in Sebring, Florida. Um, like I said, six to 10, it's first come first serve. If you DM me and you're like, Hey boo, um, I only have like seven o'clock available that night. Um, is that cool? Of course, boo. Like, yeah, we can, I can like get you scheduled in or whatnot. So DM me, I got you or schedule me for a coffee and cards at jenquickcoaching.com or DM me, like just make it easy, boo. I love you. I'm sending you massive love. Happy December 1st. Allow the winter, allow the winter and allow the release. It's here for you. Okay. It's here for you and everything is working out for you. Good shit is happening. <laughs> I'm sending you guys massive love. Mwah. Bye.